Hello and welcome to the National Science Learning Centre. In this video we're going to look at a really simple practical which is to make a voltaic cell, basically a battery. Now this is suitable for primary or secondary um, physics and could even be taken home to do with your own kids um, back at home because it's all very simple kitchen science but it can be really really fun. Now what we've got here is a range of little bits and pieces to make this voltaic cell. So we've got some vinegar, so this is just ordinary malt vinegar. We have um, some copper coins, so 2p coins. Some cotton pads here. So these are just makeup pads. Some aluminium foil. Now these have all been cut to the same size as the 2p coins. We have a clothes peg, can be plastic, doesn't have to be wooden. A pipette, um, but you can just pour the um, vinegar on if you need to. A plastic cup needs to be sort of one of these plastic disposable cups. And this, this is a sound chip with a speaker attached. Now this is a low powered sound chip um, because basically what we're going to do is create a homemade battery where we get a bit of power from it and that power should be enough to power this um, little sound chip which goes to this speaker. So we'll get a, a sort of little small tune out of this. Now, this um, sound chip and speaker can be bought from Amazon. So we bought this as a set um, called Enviro Battery. It was about 10 pounds and comes with various little bits to make your own homemade power sources. So things similar to fruity batteries as well, which you would have seen at Key Stage 3 and sometimes at Key Stage 2. So what we need to do is put this all together. Now, firstly, I'm going to take some of our malt vinegar and just soak this, put this into the cotton pads. This is going to act as our electrolyte. So that's going to allow our electrons to move through our voltaic cell. Vinegar works really nicely, nice acidic solution and easy available at home. And then we put a 2P coin on top of one cotton pad and a piece of aluminium foil underneath. So we're creating a, basically a sandwich with our cotton pad there soaked in vinegar. And then we're going to put another copper coin on top of that, the other vinegar soaked pad, and then our other piece of aluminium foil. So that is basically our voltaic cell. We've got two different metals, which are different reactivities. So aluminium more reactive than copper. We have an electrolyte, and basically what happens is we have a flow of electrons between the metals through the electrolyte going around creating a current. So we'll basically have a bit of electricity being generated. So at this point, we need to place our sand chip and speaker onto our little voltaic cell, our little battery. So we just hold it there and then we're going to use our peg to hold it all together. So clamping down on the two um, bits of metal from our sand trip. So once we've got the electrodes on in between our peg there, we should be able to hear the sound if we're generating any electricity. So I'm just going to check. So I can just hear it faintly. So if I put it towards my microphone there, you might be able to just pick it up. It's just a simple beeping sound, which is um, from the sound trip and through this sort of very primitive speaker like so. You can just about hear it. So if you're doing this with a class and wanted to demonstrate it, you want to amplify it, which again shows a nice um, other parts of physics. So what we're going to do is just use our plastic beaker there, our plastic cup, and we should be able to hear that. That's much more amplified. And again, if I put it over my microphone there, you should be able to hear that sound really clearly. So the power to make that sound through the sound chip is being generated by a couple of bits of aluminium foil, two 2P coins, and a bit of makeup pad soaked in vinegar. And just by using those very, very simple um, bits and pieces, we've actually created a battery, a voltaic cell that's generating electricity to make this noise. It's just a really, really simple, but rather ingenious um, small experiment to do 